All right, so it's not just fish farms where we have problems with overcrowding and um, with them polluting the environment. I remember a few years ago, there was a hurricane in North Carolina, which is one of the states that produces a large number of pigs. It's one of the, the large pig producing states. And um, what the way they would handle the manure in these pig plants is they would use water to, instead of shoveling the poop, um, they would use water to clean the pens on a regular basis. And so the, all this poop would, would end up out in these settling ponds. Um, and we had a hurricane and they had uh, really a basically a natural um, disaster because all of this poop was washed into the rivers and waterways in the area. So it was a, a huge problem. Um, so it's not just it's not just the uh, the fishing industry where you have problems with manure pollution. And, and manure is not only just smelly and, and, and bad for that reason. It is full of bacteria. As a matter of fact, I think I've heard numbers about 70% of the biomass of poop is actually uh, microorganisms. So it's absolutely loaded with microbes, um, most of which are not harmful, but some of which are potential pathogens. So, so that is, is a problem. The other thing you have, again, regardless of what species you're talking about, when you talk about intensive farming, so um, in industrial farms produce meat in very crowded conditions. This is um, intensive culture, it would be the terminology we would use for this, um, where you have large numbers of animals in a very small space. Well, how do you prevent disease? Well, at least in some cases, they use antibiotics in a, what they would call a prophylactic fashion. And what that means is you don't say, oh, that one's sick over there, let's give it a, a shot. You just give everybody antibiotics on a regular basis. And that's a really bad idea because what it does is it tends to produce antibiotic resistant uh, microorganisms uh, which can uh, escape and end up in, in us as well. So in, or in pathogens that can infect us. So it, by indiscriminate or heavy use of antibiotics, you tend to produce resistant pathogens, disease-causing agents. And so, so that's a problem.